The next important documentation in addition to what we discussed earlier is the handover, both physician and nursing handovers. Better it is done on the SBAR format. Both the teams can share the handover sheet. It can be updated together and then they individually hand over and uh, endorse. So the uh, SBAR format is used, situation where you include demographics, name, hospital number, weight, gestation, gender, bed space, etc. Uh, don't ever refer to them by the bed space, it should always be by the full name and the hospital number to confirm patient identifiable information. The background would include a history of the baby and the main event still now. Uh, for example, if you are talking of respiratory distress, we can say baby had RDS with one dose of surfactant by insurer, received an IPPV for 5 days and has been on high flow since. This is a short summary of the respiratory course and like that for each system you would enter one or two lines. The assessment would include the recent review, investigations, imaging, procedures and everything in the past 24 hours or in the previous shift especially and uh, the response uh, would be the current and pending plans, uh, a plan for transfusion, plan to stop antibiotics, plan for cranial ultrasound etc. So uh, this is again a portion of the SBAR chart that we use for the handover for individual babies. We also have a full team's SBAR sheet where this is summarized. So this would include the situation part which I discussed. So the gestational age, corrected age, birth weight, current weight and change in weight, uh, date and time of GAR score, baby blood group, mother blood group and so on. The uh, background part would cover the different systems, uh, respiratory, cardiac, what support they are getting cranial ultrasound echocardiography as done and uh, you'll have a short history of the problems as well and then uh, assessment would include central lines whatever uh, fluid is going through that uh, this is also part of the background actually because it's about reviewing the lines the assessment would include the nutrition that the baby is getting IV fluid that the baby is getting feeding the OGT urine output bubble opening and so on and uh, the final part is uh, what response or uh, action we need. So the name of the medications, whether any test screening is due and if there has been done, any lab results which are to be collected and then you mention it if there is any transfusion. If the baby is getting discharged, you would mention that as well. So uh, obviously the person giving and the person receiving should both sign and it should be documented in the file.